live from Austin, where we all lived in harmony until the Fire Nation attacked. But it's still going to be a great night. Now cool your heels, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Let's pretend it's the very first time that somebody is listening to this podcast, yo. What is this thing? Think about that. Don't actually say uh-huh. anything about that. Okay. Because this podcast is a secret society and we don't talk about things until now. Talk about this is the Great Night Podcast. It, it began with a live stream that Brian did where I joined in. And that was many, many years ago. And it changed names a few times. And eventually, I used to live in Florida. And then I moved to California. And now I live in Texas. But now we do the show live. And so it's me and... Fr- <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, actually, that was pretty good. All right. <laughs> Welcome, friends. Hey. Hey. <sighs> I, 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 I don't even know where to begin. Uh, a lot is going on right now. Um, we should probably you, remind people. Are you excited for our live show? Yeah, wait. You know what? That's the most important thing. Formerly known as Captain Quackenbushes, Captain Quacks is now a, it, it's a historic venue, and we get to fucking play this place. Yeah, a a, a, a staple in South Austin, an amazing stage and a great venue. We are so pumped, and we want as many people as possible to be there because. To be totally honest, like, we haven't done a lot of just totally disconnected live shows, and I don't know if we've ever done one on just a regular-ass Friday night. And and this is, uh, I'm sure everybody's kind of isolated. It's been hot as hell down here in, in Austin for about two weeks now. So being able to get together in a place with immaculate air conditioning. Ooh. So cold. So, so cold. cold. Uh, uh, in fact, I, 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 I was looking at the Yelp reviews, and that the one one star review was like too cold, too cold. Yeah, those nips are harder than hell down there. <laughs> we don't say that. That was Rock the, na- hard the nips. name of the user, Captain right? Rock Hard Nips, was Captain the original name. Hard Nips, and then they changed it to Quackenbush for reasons that we'll tell you this Friday. When you come on down, you got to go to a uh, gig stand, G I G S T A N dot com to uh, get your tickets. But uh, we're going to have some special this, guests and we might have a special guest here tonight to help promote things. This this is kind of like a special circumstance because like oftentimes whenever we've done live stuff, the easiest ones are the ones where, you know, let's say we're at a, 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 you know, a Dragon Con or some kind of convention yeah, or, or something like that or, or, or yeah, a, 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 a nerdtacular and yep. so on. Like we're riding a wave. We are part of programming. This is the first time that we're not going on the road and shouting everybody has to fly in to come in. Yep. This is the very first time we're doing a very simple show. It'll be a very good show. And I look forward to everybody hearing and li- watching it and listening to it. However, uh, it's it's just going to be right here in Austin. So this is the first time that we have the opportunity to find out, hey, who happens to live in Austin and likes us yeah. and is not wanting to ride some other wave? We're going to find out, and it's going to happen this Friday, and I could not be more thrilled to hang out. And Bryce, we yeah. joked about this. But are when you, were we are joking? You, are you for sure going to lead the first ever Bryce Bar Trivia Contest? Gosh, I mean, if you're going to twist my arm about it, I guess I'll have to do that! Hey! Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do a little bit of... trivia. Bryce Trivia. Right. Everybody make some noise for Bryce Trivia. Here we go. This is the song. So it's the thing. When you, when you <laughs> ask for people to make some noises, immediately start talking. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, we'll be doing a, a little bit of uh, pub trivia with the crowd, with the audience, uh, during at the uh, as a bit of a pre-show. So make sure you get there. Right on time. Shows, yeah. Shows at eight. Show up. No, right doors at, at eight. Doors oh. are at eight. Show up right when doors open yeah. because that will be the only way that you will be able to ensure that you can get the most points in Bryce's Bible Bonkers. <laughs> okay. And, all right. Now, all right. Now uh, we're back. We're back. Uh, uh, and 
You can win. Baby Bryce's Bible bonkers. Baby Bryce's Bible bonkers. We'll have it. <laughs> but the, the, the winner, Bryce, gets what? Uh, well, they are going to get an authentic drink coupon, not for the venue that we're going to be in, uh, but for the action for the very same venue that I go and do trivia at. So I will I will tell you the name of the place, and you can go get a free drink. So there. you will win a prize that Bryce won yeah. while playing pub trivia at another bar, and I mean, kind of stole. Is, I, that is the win. That is to be and, honest, that might be the most on brand thing we've ever. It done. is an amazing gift. An I, did, amazing, I didn't tell my team gift. that I took the card. I a took reward, it. A reward. A reward. That you get, but you got to get there early, and uh, uh, you got to go buy a ticket right now. Gigstand.com. You can get the app as well. Guys, don't fucking leave us hanging. Come out and see us this Friday. It's going to be an absolute blast. All we need is 574 of you motherfuckers. Come on out. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's just, look, it's a very small 12,000 cap, and <laughs> right? if we can just get up to that, then we'll be doing pretty sweet. It's not going to mind. My friend, I don't, I don't want to drop a name, but huh, it's God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was kind of bragging about yeah. how we would have 100,000 people. Uh huh. I, I would prefer to how not would God disappoint. How would God. God react to that when you said 100,000 people? Oh, when I did? Oh, no. He was like, eh. Oh, so he was kind of a dick. Well, I. Because he could have been like fake humble and like, like wow. That's great. No, he was not. No, no. God, God he was. was not uh, like I mean, he's God. So he, he was just. If like, anyone's earned it, to be honest, I think God doubted I was being honest in that moment. Oh wait, this is one of the yeah no, typical this, stories. Th this is my beef with. This God. is man against God. Yeah. yeah, yeah, not man against man or man against nature. Uh, yeah, nature was there too. Shit, <laughs> she snorted with laughter. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Like in a mean way or in like an adorable way? Didn't I? I didn't want to explore it. It was an awkward moment. Also, time was there. Wow, where were you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was. It was. Uh, it's a special board. I'm a member of a board. A board. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you're on a board. Yeah. With God, time. nature, and time. Yes. Who else is on the board? Death. <laughs> and. War. Are you, is the board the, like, Roman pantheon? I mean, I'm or just going to say that some of us might feel like we're some kind of incarnation of things. <laughs> Who are you the incarnation of? <sighs> this should would... not be a complicated question. It's just kind of your whole existential. Not, uh, not... Improv? <laughs> 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 Bryce, what's our first topic? Our first topic! The Epic of the Frog. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, for for reasons we will not explore, uh, there, uh, uh, Justin came over. <laughs> I came over on Saturday. There was a minor thing here on, on property, and so uh, it was a bit of a, 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 an involved process. But in the middle of this high tension situation, I go to the bathroom, and Brian goes to the bathroom. And, and, and for the record, like like Brian is not in a great space during this it entire was, yeah, thing. It was not. Like, it was not. Like, you showed up not because you wanted to dunk on Brian, but because eh, it seems like Brian could maybe use a little bit of moral support. It was it was a tense situation that involved alcohol, which and the cops. Which, which will come into play later in this show, but. Uh, uh, I, I, I come over and I, I go to the bathroom and as I'm finishing up, I look down to flush, not to get too personal here, folks. That, uh, and for the record, for those of you who know the layout of, of, of the campus, this is in the powder room and the green room. Uh, is the, the, bathroom, the bathroom right off the green room. Yeah. yeah so yeah. if you've ever watched the green room, then it's, it's that bathroom. I look down and I see something that I can only describe as the exact same reaction that you would have if you were uh, or the, 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 the Tim Robinson character. And I think you should leave when uh, he's selling the dog door 
and like the weird menacing creature <laughs> comes like running in. Yes. And yes. then you found out that it's a pig in a Nixon mask. Like it's that reaction. I have no idea what hell creature is sitting in the bowl of this toilet. And do, I, I do you remember out. what you texted me? Uh, I know exactly what it is, and we're gonna show it on screen. But I realize very shortly after that that I am not hallucinating. And indeed, there is a frog in the goddamn toilet bowl. We're dealing with kind of a heavy uh, a, a, a security issue. And then it's like, okay, we both agree. We're going to take a moment. You'll go to the bathroom. I'll go to the bathroom. And I'm going to the bathroom. And Justin texts me in all caps, God, you got a goddamn frog in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I have and, never felt more Yosemite Sam <laughs> in my life than when I was just like in my mind, I was indeed hopping up and down <laughs> on like, like, you got a goddamn frog in your toilet. And so, and so me wanting to be a gracious host, I immediately uh, uh, wipe and clean, whatever. I come running over and then, and then now the two of us are staring at a toilet Outside of the green room, yeah, looking at a toilet frog. A, very clearly, a frog in the toilet. Toilet frog, and and, and and toilet frog. Let me just tell you, doesn't give a shit. <laughs> uh, loves pee. <laughs> doesn't give a shit. Hates me. This frog loves piss. So we're both staring <laughs> at it, and then we get to that moment where it's like, okay. Well, well, no, no. We have we have different philosophies on this. Okay, because well, I. I'm like, I'm like, oh, very let, clearly, let me, let me, I did something get, that you did not expect. Well, no, no, no. I'm like, let me go get a cup because it's kind of high. You can show that picture again up on the screen, but it's high up on the bowl. I'm like, oh, if I, I go get a cup, then I can put it under the thing. I can trap it there. We can throw it outside. Brian, meanwhile, and again, this is a trying day. Uh, just start slowly and, and either through confidence or resignation just start slowly grabbing toilet paper without saying anything. Like, yeah, yeah just no. starts just like pulling toilet paper. And I'm like, part. I'm going to go get a, a cup. And you're like, mm hmm. It would, it would just, be roughly the equivalent of me, like a, a, a pulling down rope from a, just very confident, <laughs> yes. extraordinarily confident. And I'm like, are you just going to try and bare hand this frog? And you're like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> And so he goes and slowly reaches in, and as he gets to the top of the frog's head, the frog just looks up at Brian and says in clear English, I love piss, and dives back <laughs> into the toilet and swims through the hole. So it dives back into the toilet, at which point neither of us really know what to do because I mean, this like, is this not according to either of our plans. So much. <laughs> This like the, the love for this frog and piss at this point is heartwarming. <laughs> one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Brian leans forward. Yeah. <laughs> and presses the flush button. Yeah. And so that's it. We thought that was the end of the light is green. Frog. The trap is clean. Mm -hmm. Frog is gone. Until nothing to worry about. Take Until. that EPA. <laughs> Until <laughs> three days later. Yeah. What happened three days later? Wait, that's today. Yeah. Or yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Well, what happened yesterday? I went to the bathroom. I had to do one. Which bathroom? The same bathroom that I was in? No. Oh. I, I, I went to the, the studio bathroom. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We so have a bathroom in this in this have, room as well. It's there's small. a few it's bathrooms. Very yeah. It's not very... It's fine. Nobody was around. It was fine. Yeah. I, 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 I didn't have to do the number two. And so instead, it's like, I'm just going to do the number one. Let me just pull up this. Uh, Is that not right to do in that bathroom? Take a shit? What? Can you not shit in that bathroom? This is beyond the frog. I do it. So if, 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 if it's Bryce wrong, takes, you can't be wrong. big if, shits in if, there. If I were to do <laughs> it now, takes big shits, I think to everybody would shits. smell everything. So I probably would not. Right. But uh, so I'm thinking, number one, it's done. Yeah. I, I walk over. I pull, I pull up the lid. And then I pull up the uh, seat. And guess who I see? Piss Piss master. Master. <laughs> 
That's <laughs> wrong. Oh, you got a picture. I didn't see the picture. It's totally separate. Yeah. Fucking uh, 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 shitter. Uh, okay, uh, so I take a... <laughs> so, first of all, I take five pictures yeah. and then send them to Justin. Uh-huh. Uh, and one audio message that I'm going to play now oh into my God. the microphone. Oh, oh wow. I love piss. <laughs> I love that, that Brian was, was worried. That was, the crazy, that was the craziest thing about it. This song <laughs> so says in clear English, it loves piss. It, I, I, uh, for the record, it seems to. Uh, yeah. So uh, at, at this point, I, again, pull out a bunch of uh, toilet paper, wrap it around my hand, and I reach forward, and I find a much less resistant frog. Yeah. A frog He's who's been, been through some... Resigned. Yeah. And he's just like... Oh, whatever. Whatever. And then I walk out and I fill, I, I, I fill up I fill up the pond and then I drop the pond in and I I, I saw a leg flail out like yeah. he seemed happy. So you knew it wasn't yeah 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 happy ending. There we go, piss frog. I mean until till the next time. Got one the more next toilet. Time. I guess thirsty. Yeah, there's one more toilet. What? Exactly. Oh, if wow. there's one what? thing about if there's one thing about piss frog. Yeah. He's number one. <laughs> what eats frogs? What eats frogs? Yeah. Uh, snakes? Hawks? What eat? I don't know. Toilet hawk. What? what? Toilet hawk? Toilet toilet hawk? <laughs> you know what? This is as good a time as any. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Andrew Heaton. Andrew Heaton's here. <laughs> Can, can I ask you something? Because I, I came in late. Yeah. Is this uh, a real story or a brilliant allegory? About... This is no. This is a real. This is a real thing that happened. So it's not. It's Much not a union like the Bible is no. based on real events. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Piss, uh, so piss frog. Yeah. Piss frog. No, no, no. This, this, this frog is is for real, man. Hungry for piss. <laughs> uh, I love Summer Heaton. Summer Heaton, Summer Heaton is just like, uh, uh, whether or not you enjoy being Summer Heaton, uh, 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 I think that the, the, the fit is, 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 is looking good. Thank and, you very much. And I, I like, I like the close shave. Yeah, I, uh, I, I got, um, if, if I grow my beard out for more than about a month, it turns kind of gray and I look Amish. And so I decided I was going to like, you look cool with gray in your beard. I just look old with gray hair, so no. I shaved it. Um, is it I'm because of linen. your gaunt, sunken Summer cheeks? Heat. It's because I, <laughs> I look. So yes, it's fast. because I, I, I look like I've just gone through some harrowing experience, harrowing yeah. experience. <laughs> <laughs> either one, either one. Either. And indeed, I have because it is rather hot right now. You know, so. Uh, no, but, but everything's looking good, and you're going to be able to see how good this motherfucker looks at the Great Night Show this Friday mm -hmm. at Captain Quacks. Go ahead and get your tickets mm -hmm. right now at Gigstan. Uh, wait, we just get a new topic, or is there anything else we want to do here? You get all the frog stuff out? Okay, wait, Toilet Toilet Hawk, I think, is a cool character. Yeah. I think yeah. Toilet Hawk is like a good, like, that's what you need. You need a Toilet Hawk. Toilet what? Hawk, dive! <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> what franchise does Toilet Hawk belong to? Is he a Centurion? Is he a G.I. Joe character? Is he a Transformer? Oh. I, I mean, I, f I feel like the Marvel Universe is overdone, right? So I feel like Toilet Hawk needs to be somewhere else. Yeah, I like I like G.I. Joe character. I think that's good. He could be like a grizzled Nam vet that uh, is hawkish and yet guards the toilet. Okay. Much like G.I. Joe does from Cobra. Toilet Hawk That toilet is America. Did you just say Cobra? Isn't Cobra what G.I. Joe fights? Yeah, I, I thought I heard Cobra. Cobra. Which, which, which was kind of awesome. Cobra. Cobra. Code code bra. Bra. Yo, to code, Toilet Hawk sounds bra. like a friendly character that gets introduced in the second act of a Nick Jr. show for like preschoolers on how to like use toilet etiquette. I, I, I want, for real, I want to write a novel <laughs> where the, the, not about Toilet Hawk, the, the, pre the premise, the, here's the premise Good, of the novel. Because that is protected IP. Every, everybody, everybody wakes up and everyone in the world has a superpower. Yes. But most of them suck. And your job now is just to figure out, like, and you like, you figure out you can carry the most groceries of anyone in the world. But somebody else can like cure cancer by touch. And you're like, God damn it, I wanted that one. <laughs> what what if every single person had a power and the vast majority of them were stupid? Like that's it, what it, I'm thinking. It, I, I think like, I think, yeah. yeah. Uh, G dot I, I, R I, I, dot A <laughs> dot N. Brian Brushwood has the ability to see through wood. That's your that's your power. <laughs> I mean, that's already. Well, you know what? Put a pit in that. Uh, <laughs> all right. 
I want to write a novel where there's like a war in the stars. Uh huh. I like it. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Is this some kind of Bryce? Next topic. Our next topic. AirPod acquittal. You know, a couple of weeks back. Yeah. A couple weeks back on this show, I remember, and I don't remember all the details, but I do remember the emotion of it. Uh, we were probably a little harsh on one of the people on this panel here. Oh, no, we weren't. We gave him what for because he had it coming. This entitled motherfucker all up in this grill saying, I got myself an engraved AirPods Pro. Yeah. I'm very well. You can engrave I AirPods? Mean, yes. Oh, why? And I did. I did I engrave AirPods. Were people stealing anything. your AirPods? No, but with my I, face. can people see That's the engraving I, when you walk by? I engraved it with my face so that I would identify it later. M- my name is Justin Robert Young. So, for those of you who didn't pick up on all the context there, <laughs> uh, a few weeks ago on the show, I was talking about a very relatable moment I had mm-hmm. where I uh, was day drinking at a brewery <laughs> and I decided I wanted to treat myself to new AirPods. Uh-huh. And so I ordered them on the Apple app and they in the checkout, they were like, would you like to have them engraved? And I was like, well, me and my wife both have AirPod Pros. And so we often accidentally like like take each other ones. So it would be great if I had a little engraving on it. And then in the options of what to engrave, they had my little emojis. And so I decided to go with the one where I was winking and sticking my tongue out. And so that got engraved on AirPods. Which I then promptly returned to the Apple Store because they were regular AirPods and not AirPod Pros. Mm. Gross, yuck. So and I, too, and I, and uh, I think related. and I think that maybe we gave you just a little too much guff about that. I think maybe I, I think hold so on. too. Andrew. Yes. As you could imagine, we uh-huh. were all suitably horrified by this turn of events from mm-hmm. our privileged friend. Uh-huh. Uh until a <laughs> week or two later, we found out from Bryce. That he had purchased. Uh, I'm sorry. What were they again? Uh, yeah, I also did get some AirPods Professionals, and, and even on the Weird Things program, I act, I accidentally like, uh, I ac- I literally accidentally p- picked up my old AirPods when I wanted to show off the new ones did, because does they it also kind of have Justin's face on it. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. Well, I think that my my father was an engraverman, and you're <laughs> you're providing good work to hardworking engravermen across our great country. <laughs> I salute you, sir. Thank it you. It would be amazing if Tim Cook came out during the next <laughs> Apple event and it's just like, our partnership with a bunch of engraver men <laughs> have been giving hardworking American jobs the place that they desire in our Apple ecosystem. Here's Edgar. Edgar, how do you feel about these AirPods? I love engraving. <laughs> You're welcome, God. <laughs> and now... Here's Piss Frog. <laughs> no, oh, damn it. That makes Aww. me Piss Frog. Uh, and then so, he plays Thunderstruck. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I just think maybe we were a little harsh on, on Justin. Maybe, you know, maybe you, maybe you do need to identify what your AirPods are because no, I, I think it's like, kind of weird. Let's say theoretically that our friend Justin gets beheaded. <laughs> And, yeah. and they're trying to identify mm-hmm. the corpse. But... Let's say theoretically it happens <laughs> this Friday at Captain yeah. Quack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> June 30th, South Austin. You never know what's going to happen uh-huh. up to and including my beheading. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and they find, the, they find the things in his pockets away from the head, and they're able to put them back together again. So, yeah, thanks, Engraverman. Fox News alert. <laughs> beheading <laughs> not off the table at upcoming Great Night <laughs> event. <laughs> Uh, so, hey, so, hey, hey, Bryce, how many more times can you say that maybe we uh, were too harsh on me? Uh, well, it's just because uh, uh, m- maybe you had the right idea. Mm. No, I'll say maybe the right idea, but maybe the wrong uh, uh, execution. Maybe. maybe. So, so Justin was over uh, the other day. We were just hanging out. And, uh, uh, and I will say uh, uh, it was after I was done meeting Toilet Frog. And hanging out with Brian, oh, yeah. uh, which was a situation in which involved a few more beers than I thought were going to be consumed here on property. At which point I realized it was getting a little late in the afternoon and I already made plans to hang out with Bryce. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to do the responsible thing. I'm going to drive back to my house. I'm going to leave my car there. I'm going to Uber to Bryce's apartment to hang out Yeah. because 
I'm, you might have I'm, a beverage there. You know. I'm, I'm assuredly bringing alcohol uh, that I'm going to drink at Bryce's place. Yeah. And a bong. And, and uh, <laughs> okay, well, okay. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, it was a good time. We hang out. And uh, 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 was it that? Was it in the morning that I realized? Yes. That, uh oh, my AirPods professionals are nowhere to be found. Uh oh, they're gone. So I I go back to my <laughs> place later in the Bryce. evening after hanging out with Bryce, and Bryce is like, "You took my AirPods. You took my AirPods, you fucker." And I'm like, bullshit. I look over at my AirPods. I open them up. They say, these are Justin Young's AirPods. Uh -huh. I'm like, fucking idiot, Bryce. You didn't know shit. <laughs> this fucking empty-headed moppet. Like, Wouldn't know an no AirPod fucking, from a microwave. Doesn't oven. know his AirPod from his asshole. Like, fucking, he's texting me all this wild bullshit. <laughs> and then I'm like, sorry, dipshit. Not here. That's right. And then he just texts me a... GPS location of my house. <laughs> <laughs> I got your ass on the Find My Network, bro. And I'm like, well, <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> and you, so you, you should have immediately got like a kitchen knife out and tried to carve an emoticon of your face <laughs> into it, and then texted it and be like, look, it's mine, asshole. No, I, I, I should have just went to Squarespace and just made a website called. AirPod GPS glitch. <laughs> it's like, it turns out that it glitches to say it's where the coolest person you know is. Uh, Isn't that odd? In any case, I think you had the right idea, but you definitely should have looked for your Memoji on the AirPods case before you uh, fucking stole it from me. <laughs> well, that's the problem, is that the ones I got from the Apple the Store... The problem when I, is when I... you have two. Well, I didn't know I had to because I had accidentally put one of them in my drawer. I might have been a little fucked up. Uh, but I put one uh, AirPods in my drawer and I had put the other one where they normally go. So and relatable. so that's why I would I didn't know that they were there. We eventually find them. We've I drive been. over to Bryce and that. I that, had to take a walk without the the wonderful bass response of the professional. What the fuck? Right, you Bryce, had to I feel take like, a walk? I know, right? Bryce, you should get one of those cool shoulder boom boxes that the kids with the skateboards have. Oh, yeah. yeah. The old ghetto blasters? I feel like you could pull that off. Y you think so? Uh-huh. Okay, I'll look we'll into that. Find and out also, Pog. this Friday at Captain Quack's <laughs> when Bryce will have a ghetto blaster. Big stand, maybe. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think uh, uh, good idea, poor execution. Well, yeah, Please don't I steal mean, my AirPods. I think the, the 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 solution is that we both need to buy new AirPod Pros that have our emoji on it. Oh, that's the solution. You know that what? Sounds like the just solution. to be safe. What say the two of you chip in and? Buy your old pal Brian and Andrew. Boom boxes. Um, boom boxes. <laughs> Done. No take backs. Bryce, next topic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is Airfux Wild Mix? So I was I, I was browsing the internet today, and I I, I found a thing called Airfux Wild Mix. Wait, hold on. Uh, Heaton, repeat that. Air fucks wild mix. Okay, do me a favor. You're now the character from now on. I'm going to use you like chat GPT. Okay. Chat GPT, uh -huh. you're now air fucks. I'm air fucks wild mix. Yeah, exactly. You have a wild mix. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Do you, do you have race cars in your attic? No, what was I, 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 what was I don't know if that got picked up on the mics, but <laughs> we have thing. never had street noise infect <laughs> this studio before. Ever. And... We just heard what I assume is a motorcycle very loudly on revving the roof. to the point <laughs> that I assumed it was Air Fox Wild Mix. <laughs> Give me your best Casey Kasem, and without knowing what the story is, just introduce yourself and introduce us to Wild Mix. Hi, I'm Chant GPT. Do you like <laughs> fucking on an airplane to random soundtracks? Well, you'll love Air Fox Wild Mix. Perfect. Nailed it. You nailed it. Uh, 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 any other guesses on what Airfux uh, wild mix is? I think we so, all know. So wait, so you assume that it's like a a, a mile high club thing? Heats. Yeah, I, I can't get off on an airplane unless I have a, a, mix a wild to Spotify. Mix. Yeah, well, it's not normally a, it's just not enough novelty. You gotta it, have some kind of Spotify. In playlist. all the times you've been fucking in the airplane yep. toilet, uh -huh. you're like, well, I we all have our mixes. The weird thing but, is, Justin, there was this frog. Last time I was there. 
Uh, what if what if I told you it has nothing to do with music? Why? Oh. Then we'd say gotcha. Is it like is it tra- some kind of cereal? Because yeah, it's a tra- wild mix. Yeah, I was gonna say trail yeah. mix. We knew yeah. it all the time. It's muesli. Uh, it is, is, is it is food. it like like, like, like granola M and M's, dried yes, cranberries, and we crack? all know. Uh, what was that last one? I don't know. Ask Brian. <laughs> I like it being muesli. I like that. Like the, the like the very beige accountants and branding team for the National Muesli Board gets together and they're like, we're not selling that much muesli. What if we call it Air Fox Wild Mix? <laughs> Air Fox Wild Mix would, would be like a Chex Mix yeah. kind of thing. Because all these bros are like, yeah, I'm going to get some Air Fox Wild Mix no, for breakfast. That's good. That's good. It's like, ah, we're going to put some jerky in there. Mm-hmm. A little bit of jalapeno. Mm-hmm. It's like diesel for oats. Fucking five carrots. <laughs> five carrots, every bag. Five Guaranteed. carrots, motherfucker. That's a lot of carrot per Half bag. Celery. It's like a jet ski through your colon. <laughs> a squirt of dog's milk. <laughs> you win. <laughs> uh, what if I told you it has nothing to do with food either? Oh, well. Okay. I it, told wait, you, Higgins. Does it at least get that shit out of there? <laughs> does it at least have to do with fucking? Uh, it does. Okay, <laughs> um, good. Does. Thank God. Yeah, I was gonna say genealogy was my last guess. So. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Is Airfox Wild Mix uh, like a uh, like a playlist of a porn site of of people doing the Mile High Club thing? Oh, I like that. Also, how wild does a porn hub playlist have to be to be wild? <laughs> like like what is what is the baseline boring uh uh YouTube pl- or a porn hub playlist? Uh I I I think one of my favorites uh, uh quite literally the most go wild on. porn hub yeah, thing yeah, yeah, go on. is is uh the wholesome stuff where it's like uh it says Guy delivers pizza and nothing interesting happens. <laughs> and so the doorbell rings. Oh no, that and was he's like, like, here's your pizza, ma'am. That'll be twenty dollars. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> and wait, that's the video. So you could now you could be the most wholesome person of the world and no, troll porn yes, hub. No, no, no. Yes, there there, there yes, was a yes. dude who I believe <laughs> was named Ryan Creamer. And you can look him up. But yeah, he, his whole Pornhub account was just him. And then eventually he got so popular that porn stars wanted to do these videos with him. And they would, where it they would, would set like, up all these like teasings. With, like, like with this famous porn star. And it's like... Wait, uh, so he's like an anti-porn star. He would uh, just uh, be like... like featuring like, Belladonna. A, a, a man on That's your... That's a name I made up. I've never heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> so it would just be like, like a, a, a man on the subway compliments your hair. And that's it. And like then he just leaves. Yeah. So amateur couple does it in the sand. Uh, it being finding cool smooth rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that man's a hero. It's like I bring you some tums. <laughs> <laughs> can, can, can oh. you, can, uh, Bryce, how comfortable are you? Like uh, uh, rushing up to the cliff's edge and playing some of this for us. It's not at all. We're not playing porn, huh? Okay, <laughs> all right. All Wait, right. but it, but isn't it wholesome? Not the the preview bit or the the playlist that Brian already assembled, but just this one video. I think I think really the problem with Bryce is not necessarily the video, but rather everything that's happening around. <laughs> oh right, yeah. The weird. We don't want the screen grab of watching uh, Marge get plowed by uh, Scooby Doo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know this one weird trick produces quarts of cum. <laughs> Uh, quartz. These are all and that parodies. trick is mucily. These are all the parodies. Diesel of oats. Yeah. All right. If you, uh, if you get this joke, you're gross. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, how would I read you the description of uh, uh, of Airfux Wild Mix? Yeah. Okay. okay. The idea behind this model merge is to amplify anything male in the base models without sacrificing versatility. Oh, oh, this is, this a, is some an AI GPT thing. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's like a mid-journey thing. As such, it can create decent dick quite easily without Loras. Ah, uh, that sorry, that Loras. L O R A S. It, it, it a, is. It oh, is. Man. It is. Yeah, a, yeah, yeah. You, a you and I are talking thing. about what a pain in the ass Loras are. Yeah. <laughs> Probably shouldn't <left> <laughs> <hang in> <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't let it hang in. I, I like Laura. I think she's Sorry. a stand-up dame. Uh, so apparently, there's uh, you know there, there's the AI art generation. You know, people make make stuff and they share prompts and stuff. Apparently, there's a whole website, uh, Civit AI, 
That is people sharing the training models. So you download their training models for various things. Uh, and Porn. Some of, and some right? of them are for pornography. Whoa. Yeah, that's it. So yeah. That guy definitely takes are, multivitamins. Look at him. Are, He's are, so muscly. All of them are so muscly. And my God, look at their pants. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think these are. I don't think these are real, Bryce. But, yeah. Specifically, they're not. They're um, they're not. But I just thought it was very real funny. enough. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we get yeah. you there. Bryce, look, look. If you if you're gonna cross the boundary, keep them coming. What do we What do we got here? Um, well, they only have a few ex, uh, examples here because uh, most of the rest of them are pornographic. Um, uh, but Can you just all right? Whoa! Not, not like a, uh, Whoa, Bryce, I saw some was, neck, was, the, ladies Bryce. and gentlemen. I saw some neck. Bryce, all right, all right. Not on not on screen. Okay, but uh, in our chat window. Oh yeah. Can you just show AI peen? <laughs> Just AI peen. Yeah, let me throw see. throw some oh. AI peen, and we'll describe for the first time ever. <laughs> We're making some AI here, peen. People. Okay, we AI just use that. No monitor. women. That's no. That's illegal. That monitor is just for porn. For people listening at home, we always have that monitor on. Okay. Uh, Wait. So could this replace me on OnlyFans? Is my yes, job now yes. like threatened Sorry, by these yeah. muscly CGI guys? Especially with your gnarled feet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, I, I think I, I time roll try time. Hold on, hold on. Let, let's unpack gnarled feet. Yeah, where did that come from? Oh, it's a throwaway joke. Uh. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> there's a lot of people that are kind of into meerkats, and uh, <laughs> you know what? I had to put myself through med school, and I did. Uh, I'm having, Have I'm, you found AI dick for us yet? I'm having a difficult time <laughs> doing oh, God, doing, difficult. He doth protest yeah, too much. Difficult time. <laughs> just Not go in the dick folder on the laptop. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Brian got a second hard drive just for that. Here's uh, something. What, what is happening? Uh, this, is, this is just straight up pornography. Or this is what you asked for. No, ah. we asked for dicks. Uh, oh, uh, let's see. Let's block These are women. all ladies. Let's block MILF. Let's block lingerie model. Let's block MILF. Let's from block hey, guys, varieties. we all agree. Let's block MILF. So wait, is this all being generated in real time? Uh, or or I think it's like... Because right now we by, are looking at just bot? straight pornography from AI. I think these this is tied into uh, another service. No. Oh no! It generates adult imagery with custom AI algorithms. Just choose your tags to generate. Oh wow! It's. I think it's doing. That's doing that live. Wow. I, uh, I have multiple I... emotions right now, and none of them are arousal. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put this away. So <laughs> this can... is the most yeah. exciting time that I but... watch pornography in front of seven strangers. <laughs> <laughs> that was too many boobies. Sorry. Uh... Let's see. Although but... not the first time I've done it for money. <laughs> <laughs> also not the first time you've done it with Bryce Castillo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, look, well. we're boys. We trade AirPods. <laughs> we trade AirPods. Ariana Grande. Woo. <laughs> uh, but that, I don't know. It's it, it, We're at that point now where we're sharing. You couldn't, you couldn't find any. I couldn't. I During Pride? <laughs> I, <laughs> no. For I can't, shame. I can't, there are, For shame. I, there are levers I don't want to pull because I'm sure I could if I wanted to. Maybe, maybe CGI mm -hmm. hadn't figured out how to make a penis yet. Maybe. I guess Bryce doesn't want to pull those levers. <laughs> He's afraid to pull those. Hold letters. on. Let me look. Okay, AI porn site. Are you trying to make him like, like, like get tough and be like, hey, get out, get out there? And no, I'm trying to bit. end this bit. Like, I, 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 like I feel very like, I feel like, like we, we are edging this bit. We need <laughs> one thing that metaphorically would bring this bit to completion. Uh, okay, uh, uh, let me, let me. And then we'll it. need the towel of the next bit to clean it up. <laughs> Bryce, is there anything else we wanted to cover before we do the uh, uh, transition? Uh, we had wanted to talk about Reddit, maybe, but uh, I'm going to take this woman who is naked off of my screen. <laughs> All right. I, All I feel right. like I'm watching an HR videos don't do this no, video. Yeah. <laughs> it's all I'm, women. I'm They're definitely no goofus. Like, that's, that's true. Have you ever looked at CGI dick at work? <laughs> you shouldn't talk about it to your coworker. <laughs> Have you ever been badgered by your coworker to <laughs> hey. show CGI dick in a Have more Have you ever had manner? your bosses demand under pressure that you <laughs> manufacture CGI dicks, but you couldn't do it fast enough? <laughs> 
<laughs> That's on you. Well, this, get better. This, <laughs> well, only because it's Chekhov's CGI dick. Like, yeah. Like, like, he introduced the concept of AI dick. Yes. And, and then we need to have it shoot in the third act. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, I, f I found a generator, but it doesn't have men options. It only has a women's uh, option. Gross. You know what? <laughs> Next topic. <Okay. laughs> uh. State of the Reddit. The Reddit thing's over, right? The strike? I don't even know. I, uh, all, over. All, all I know is that it looks like it's over, and then I scroll down, and then I see John Oliver, and I thought, uh, <laughs> John Oliver, you're forever going to be remembered as the guy who killed boners and made people sad about Reddits. Well, I think that was, that's our picks, right? I know they were at least the first ones to decide that they would reopen, but... Only, only show. Only pictures of John Oliver would be allowed because they're protesting. Oh, Heaton, yeah, you're, you're you're looking at me like a frightened I, dog. I, I uh, was I was with everybody on the CGI penises, but I I've I've I don't know any of this stuff. Uh, 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 so he's become the only meme on Reddit. On, 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 on our only allowed picks, which is which one. is one of the biggest uh, subreddits uh, uh, there is. But the issue was Reddit changed their API. Uh, terms because they're trying to kill off all their third-party apps and so a lot of people who use third-party apps many of them are mods for these subreddits uh they were like well that's fucked up we're going to do a strike so a lot of subreddits went dark for a while and they've slowly started coming back online but r slash picks decided we were going to do a halfway thing after being dark for a very long time they're like what's well, the opposite of dark very, very white. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, John British Oliver. Millhouse. All over the place. Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. So, I don't know. Is that like, like so so you're you're saying that John Oliver is the mascot for the in in uh, uh I would inability love to know strike to whose matter. idea this was and why it's John Oliver and whether or not John Oliver oh. is into it or not. Oh wait, hold on. I bet of course he is. this is your take. You think that what? you think that this is planned? I would love to know if it was planned. He's oh. not fooled. Oh my God, he's not fooled, everybody. Just say it. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> I need a stinger. I need somebody with musical talent to put together a stinger, and it's not. It can't be long. It's got to be like maybe five seconds of just like. Bam, 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 Brian's not, not fooled. Yeah. Because it happens so often that we need to have a punctuation for this. So so you think this is viral marketing for John Oliver? I wonder, don't know. Okay. I wonder mm -hmm. whether or not this is just one thing on, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> this is a thing that organically and predictably was about to unfold. It seems like either John Oliver or somebody on his team might say, you know what you could do is you can make a joke and then, hey, here's how to protest and show your picture. How do you think the Reddit community would respond if they found out that this was indeed a sponsored or a a soft sponsored way that John Oliver could promote his show. I think that they would first of all, remove any comments that claimed it and then eject you from whatever community you're in where you accused them of it poorly. Oh wait, hold it. Have you done that? I have don't you, know have you, have you, have you, you went to Reddit and said, I think this is a planned thing by John Oliver. That would be weird if I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, then so that means that there's. I mean, like, I know you're writing this short story about a guy who tells the truth on Reddit. <laughs> In your short story, where would that have happened? Uh, eh, on, on a, a blogspot. It's on r slash blogspot. Yeah, no, I, 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 it did not happen. It is not real. I've had Got nothing. You. Sorry. Yeah. But also, like, whatever. Uh, either somebody on his team is deciding to make him the poster boy and to make money. In which and, case, that person deserves a raise. Because uh, that's really good. What? Re what? Get, that, You're not fooled and you hate it. We call that earned media attention. That's great. Mm. Yeah, except for one man telling the truth. He's not fooled. On Blogspot. I do not want to become a... 
Patreon.com. Wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. What, what are you worried would what? happen? Is this like when you spent that week trying to convince me the CIA killed Kennedy and I couldn't use my phone anymore? Yeah. <laughs> Is this a, like that time that we met Piss Frog? Ain't none of y'all noticed that I said the wrong URL. I'm going to go put on the helmet. Oh! 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 O
Arlington Heights. So we're looking for Augmetics, Justin. Augmetics. A U G M E T I C S. Augmetics. <laughs> that answer is Bibbit Raw. Oh wow. my yes. God. Okay. All right. Andrew, uh, it's your chance here. Augmetics. 15 years ago, I fooled this motherfucker into thinking I wanted to do a comedy show. Then we replaced it with another comedy show. Then we went independent and then we did another comedy show. Now's the moment for you to betray him, stab him in the back, mm -hmm. and become my true comedy partner by correctly spelling <laughs> Augmentics. Augmentics. Okay, I got this. Nope. I got this, Brian. I got okay. this. A U G M E T I X. Ah, there we go. T I X. Mm hmm. Because it's cool. Yeah. All right. That answer is. <laughs> Also incorrect, right. Brian. I insist Last you chance. check again. I insist. Okay, <laughs> let me do that. A -G -N -G. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, it's I'm still Brian's really? comedy partner. Okay. Still <laughs> Brian's comedy partner. <laughs> Brian, uh, for the steel augmetics. Justin. Hey, 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 hey Heaton. <laughs> yeah. If Brian fucking embarrasses himself and gets his shit wrong, you're my true comedy yes. partner. <laughs> 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 All right, no pressure, Brian. Augmetics. <laughs> Eight. Strong. <laughs> G G G M T X. I hope he gets it. <laughs> All right, let's find out your answer of eight G G M T X is. Incorrect. Yeah, what up? What up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Ed McMahon. <laughs> We were looking for A U G M E D I C S. Oh, plural. Plural. Oh. Uh, dicks. Justin. Augmedix. That's why I check in. Like our whole plan to fuck over Andrew Heaton. It's working, right? Like he believes that there's a gig. Um, so I don't want this to get awkward. Yeah. But our entire partnership has been dissolved. <laughs> um Heaton's my new best friend. Is this for reals? Well, they're you, real stakes. You, you, well, you didn't spell it right, oh. which is embarrassing to me and the show. Okay, all right. All right. Uh, so, I so. don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay, <laughs> okay. How, how can I win back your favor? No? <sighs> God damn it. God damn it. Uh, the hey, sound P -A -L, of pal. Hey! There we go. Secretly hate him. Don't worry, I'm on your side. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy to follow, not a problem at all. Okay, uh, Andrew, we're gonna start. Oh, with for you. the guy who couldn't bring up an AI dick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to show off my power level. Okay, uh, Andrew, we're gonna start with you on this one. Okay, uh, the name of the company is Wifirion. 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 The the wife building company. <laughs> the Wifirion develops and provides contact contactless inductive wireless energy systems intended for industrial and mobile robotics applications. Wifirion. Listen, that can, kind can of Wifirion. Okay. To How many employees does it have? Yeah, I just want you to know you're my new comedy partner. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, that's great. That's okay. great. All right. All right. There we go. Thank you. Ken in the cameraman here. Uh, uh, Wifirion has 51 through 100, to 100 employees. Wow, good for Wifirion. Where are they located? They are located in ba -ba 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 Freiburg, Germany. Okay. Ah. Uh, then in that Don't case, talk to him like that. In that case, I'm going to like reverse VW ah, ah. this shit. So, wait, is it Wifirion or Wifirion? Oh, that's a great question. Okay, I'm going to assume it's so <laughs> W-I- F E R E O N, Wifirion. Just like in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Heaton, that answer is. Loser. Lo 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 oh. loser. Incorrect. Wow. We go to Brian. Hey, now. I don't want to make this weird, but if you keep fucking embarrassing yourself, <laughs> oh, this no. whole shit is over. <laughs> Damn it. I, I, I feel like we're building a <gasps> conflict that will only resolve itself <sighs> this Friday at Captain Quack. Yeah. <sighs> All right, Brian, we go to you now. Why Furion? Yeah. Yeah. It's German. Uh, it, they're located in Germany, yes. I only have one question. How's it spelled? Uh, that's a, and it's a great Smart question. Move. And it's, it's the best question you could ask all night. Unfortunately, I can't give you that answer. Yeah, but what if you did? <laughs> Can you do it with well, a German accent when you spell it? What if you did? <laughs> 
Well, then we would just kind of destroy the whole like game and competitive element of this. I would mm-hmm. just be telling you how to play. And, 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 and also the dramatic tension of the uh, bit on top of the game. Yeah. Like it's kind of dependent on tension from a real thing yeah. that has a fictitious mechanism on but top of it. But at least we established that Bryce is true to the cause. Yes. Unlike someone. Yeah. And this guy. And Everybody loves it. Heaton, everyone's favorite backup. <laughs> yeah. uh, the silver medal of why? friends. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All three of us should change our Twitter handles to the silver medal of friends. <laughs> uh, 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 Solid number two. The only person who doesn't refer to you? Little frog I met last <laughs> week. Oh, God, it. It. All right, because yeah, he's number one. Uh, uh, Why on Why Furion? Uh, <clears throat> v I F U R I O N. All right, nice. there's your answer here. That is loser. Incorrect. <laughs> Well, uh, All right. oh, oh, incorrect. Incorrect. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, did you think that the repeated losers were indicating victory? That, that, was, my that was definitely the bit I was doing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Justin Robert, mm. we go to you. Why fear you? Mm. Mm. Read it and weep, dipshits. Bryce, uh, I just want you to know that you're my new comedy co host. Uh, that, yeah, wait, what about Kinnan? Bryce, if it doesn't work out Ooh. with Brian or Justin and you need like kind of a sidekick bronze medal friend, I could, uh, I'd be happy to avail myself. Just want to throw that out there, you know. Well, uh, uh, these sluts. I know. They're, I'm, I'm, a, I'm Mr. Popular today. Justin, why Ferion? W I F E R O U N. Why Ferion? You had a bunch of vowels. That's, I was about to say that's that. That was like a pronoun in there. You even been to Germany? <laughs> yes, we were in yeah. Germany together. Oh, that's right, a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Berlin. It was we, great. We it did a, a we did a show in a basement yeah, yeah. in Berlin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got give me a time. Remember? Yeah, it was fun. exactly. Yeah. yeah, stakes are higher than ever, people. <laughs> you went to a naked spa. I went to a. Na- <laughs> Did I talk about this other time? Yes, you can. Yeah. In, in fact, uh, uh, press pause. Uh, go yeah. on. In fact, uh, 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 Bryce, can you find an AI version of his dick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So wait. Okay. So real quick, I was in Germany <laughs> with uh, with with Justin and a couple of our other friends, and I went on this app called Tender. <laughs> <laughs> and I decided I'd scope out I some... I believe there it's been a Tinder! Tinder. And I'd scope out some local talent. And I Stop connected with this nice blonde lady. And uh, I invited her to go on a date. And and she went, well, where should we go? And I went, well, and I had this list of places I already wanted to go. And I went, there's this one spa where you float in it and they play music. It's supposed to be real nice. And she texted me back, you want to take me to a naked spa? And I went, yeah, why not? And she went, well, we should really go to the other naked spa in the middle of town if we're going to go to a naked spa. And so we went to have lunch to see if we hated each other or not. And we we decided we liked each other enough we were willing to get naked at a spa. Yeah. And uh, it was real awkward. It was real awkward. Like, like it because we, we had to go to the same dressing room. We went to lunch to find out <laughs> if we hated each other or not. Uh-huh. For the record, if you think this shit is funny, imagine being with him throughout all the steps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, like, like for, through every step, I was like, we had like a lunch or hung out or, or, or had a drink or something like that. And it was just like, I think I'm on the apps. I met a woman. Naked spa? Uh huh. <laughs> I guess the lunch is happening tomorrow. <laughs> It went okay. <laughs> I guess I'll see her boobs. <laughs> saw her boobs. Pretty good. Yes. <laughs> she she saw my penis. My my favorite part of it, because we went we had to go to the same locker room and she went to the bathroom and she came back and I was just in my underwear and she's like, Why did you not take your underwear off? And I was like, I don't know. I just figured we were gonna do like a big reveal. For each other. <laughs> <laughs> a gender reveal? Yeah, it was a fun time. Good time in Berlin. <laughs> All right. Yeah. In this day and age, it might be a surprise. <laughs> All right, Justin, your answer of W I E F R O U N is incorrect. Oh. Yeah. That is not correct. Wait, no, it was no, I know. Yeah, it was bad. You spelled, you spelled wife around. 
Spelled wife oh, around. Oh, okay. Wife around wife is wife around? very different. Yes, because that's the goal of this game is to get accurate names. Oh, my God. Okay, we were looking for W-I-F-E-R-I-O-N. Oh. Andrew Wait, was very close. What is, yeah, how did I spell it? Uh, you said R-E-O-N. Damn it. Uh, you right. said it was like the Bible. Okay, yeah. No, I did use the preferred biblical <laughs> you, you spelling. Did, you did, you did yeah. say it yeah, was yeah. like the Bible. Yeah. You yeah. did imply that Wiferon. it yep. would be blasphemy like it, to not like agree with you. Like Leviticus, the great character Wiferon. Yeah. Man. Great Ryan, saint. that was great a good saint. thing, agreeing with me about making fun of Heaton with the Bible thing. Oh, man, like I hate. Between you and us? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking with Heaton. Yeah, so do I. Teasing him right now, thinking yeah. that he'll become a partner, but it won't happen. No, no yeah, yeah. Comedy yeah. partners for life. Yeah. Hell yeah. Don't tell Kenan. Okay. Okay. <laughs> round three. Oh, poor Kenan. Uh, round three here. <laughs> We're going to start with Brian. Also, I just realized that Eaton's dog has a tie on. <laughs> and someone could have shot it. She could have shot a Wallace. Oh, hi, just... Wallace. Oh, that's so cute. He's a little business dog. Wallace is very confused right now. He does oh. not know what's going on. Yeah. No, I know. You he loves him you up so here. much. He just wants you to be... People are making fun of my master. <laughs> no, I no. should attack their he penis. Can come up here. Uh, can, I, can I take him up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Bring him up here. He'll okay. be fine. Yeah, yeah. Why are you destroying all my equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going yeah. to build this motherfucker. Okay, We're yeah. going to set up a scam. I'm going to get so much money. Fuck yeah. Here he's on the Patreon. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah, take him. Okay, yeah. Hey, oh, oh, Wallace! Oh, hi, Wallace! Oh, Good Mr. Boy. Dapper! Hi, Bobby! <laughs> All right. Uh, time for our third round here. Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Ready? Your start up is Filigran. Filigram? Filigran. Filigran. How, how's it spelled? Okay, you can... Uh, uh, very, very particularly. Uh, wait... Where is it located? They are located in Paris, France. You know, it's funny. I went uh -huh. to a naked spa there one time. Uh, <laughs> so I was checking what out some do they do? I was in and, uh... Uh, they anticipate cyber threats and disrupt crisis preparation. It is the home of Open CTI, Open EX, and more. How Actually, many hold employees on. From, from, do from they what have? You said, uh, I was listening to a podcast that was talking about spas. Turns out, Germany, naked spas all over the place, France. They don't like them. Really? Yeah, Germany is is kind of a, a outside of the European norm on that. There's more naked ass spas in Germany uh, than there are in other places in Western Europe. Because wow. it certainly ain't in fucking Britain. No. Jesus. But who would, why would you, yeah. Uh, okay, well, while, <laughs> since we got those shots yeah. in. That wasn't I, even I, a joke. I, I, I feel a, like I just <laughs> watched somebody step in something. Uh, uh, That's right. right, Birmingham. I fucking said it. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, we're here with you for Filigran. Do you have any more questions about the company? F-I-L-I-G-R-A-M. All right. Your answer is... <laughs> Ooh, incorrect. We go to Justin now. Filigran. Filigran? Filigran. <sighs> what did Brian say? <laughs> he did, with an F. What, what did he say? 77XX443. P-H-I-L dash capital A dash G-R-A-N Phil a gran <laughs> All right, your answer is... Incorrect. Well, like I had a strong swing. Uh, you know, well, so it, it, you you heard it end in an N, not an M. Yes. Okay. That's why I asked him to say it You're twice. Filling a grand. Fill a grand. I don't know why I made a fist and just doesn't matter. I think I think we do know why. I think Doctor Freud okay. knows why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey Bryce, can you bring up on AI? No. <laughs> uh, Andrew. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, Christ! Oh, oh, wow. Oh, the yep. motherfucker was ready. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! There it is. <laughs> Poor Wallace. You shouldn't have oh, to you see that. Don't Wallace. fuck with the Bryce. You do not fuck with the Bryce. Never knock it off. That Never fuck dog. with the Bryce. What the 
Okay. That was so much AI dick. There's a lot of it. Some good stuff. Here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Just oh my! It looks like tails <laughs> with a gigantic dick. Yeah, that one looks like tails. Yeah, <laughs> he might have two tails. It might actually be tails. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna bookmark this page. This is uh, some good stuff here. Uh, okay, uh, we were looking and for... in front of Wallace. I oh, know. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're too young for that. Andrew Heaton. We're going uh, to you now. Filigran. Fil Filigran. Have you told us what the company does? Uh, they anticipate cyber threats and disrupt crisis preparation. They are home of OpenCTI, OpenEX, and more. Filigran. You spell it with an F and an M at the end? Yeah, uh, nobody remembers. Yeah. That's the weird you part. You an N at the end? I did a PH and an N. Yeah. Also, I did dashes in the middle like it was an old-timey elevator. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm going to do uh, P-H-I-L. Phil. Filigran. A-G-R-A-M. Kilogram. But right. no dashes. All right, your answer is. <laughs> Incorrect. Yeah. Not correct. We were looking for. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to do. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? You more dicks. Uh, Every, you all the up. audio listeners just yeah. assume more dicks. Exactly, yeah. No, stop <laughs> it. Oh, sorry. Don't punish us with more gigantic AI dicks. Because you fucked up. <laughs> they're fuck very up. Showed the they're wrong end. Very beefy characters. <laughs> we were looking for filigran. F I L I G R A N. N is November. Brian, you were super close, but it was an N, not an M. So yeah, I was close without the dashes and the A and the Brett, PH. Brett, how many points and the PH. has anybody won? Uh, let, well, let me hold on. Let me uh, do the calculations. A little bit of math. <laughs> Of course, there's no points. No points. <laughs> for, anybody. for anybody. I insist you recalculate. Okay, oh. hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Gimmick infringement. Gimmick infringement. Oh, I'm sorry. The math checks out. You ain't got no points. Yeah. There you go. No points yet. All right. Fourth round. Justin, we go back to you. Wait, yep. Brett, would you say that I'm tied with these guys? <laughs> I guess technically. Yes. It's yes. A, uh, yeah. You, All right. You're absolutely right. You're all in the same place. Silver medal mm. Heaton. Silver medal Heaton. <laughs> Silver medal Heaton. <laughs> Just like Wallace, it's a tie. Mm. Aw. Hey, Wallace. Yeah. All right. We're in a tie for audio listeners. Uh, Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Yeah. The startup is Maud. <laughs> <laughs> like the 1970s sitcom? Yes. Exit Dash Maud. Mm-hmm. Justin, sure. we're looking for a mod. Uh, Free golden girls. Some information. Mm -hmm. Post-holiday uh, special. Where is mod located? They are located in Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> they really all right. All right. Uh, how many employees does it have? 11 to 50 employees. How much was it funded for? Uh, they've raised $13.1 million. Can you use it in a sentence? Mod is an essentials brand with a focus on access to sexual wellness products. Oh. Somebody Mod. would buy a sexual wellness product called Mod? Yep. Huh. M A U D E Mod. Justin. Whoa, straight up pretty standard spelling. spelling. Yeah. yeah. You can't keep getting away with it. It's hey! Mod! Hey! Oh shit. Justin, I just want to say that it I always, I always well. believed in you, and I always thought that this would be how it turns out. And I would like to congratulate you and avail myself to sidekickery. <laughs> Don't give a shit about that. Bryce, more dicks on the screen. Let's go. Uh, here we go. Hey! Literal dicks on the screen. Just put Jesus. one of those tails pictures in the Discord. <laughs> like, like Mark and his NSFW. Yeah, I'll, I'll hit the try this button. I'll yeah. See, see what that does. <laughs> It's, it's, there's, okay. Uh, uh, so that was Justin getting the point on that. Congrats to yeah. Justin. Andrew, we'll go to you now. We got uh, another. M-A-U-D-E. Oh, we got another one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'd like you to tell me about Elemental. 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 Okay, well, it, it's a company between 1 and 51 people located in P K Poughkeepsie, New York. And, uh, I, wait, hold on. Wait. I, I, am I spelling it or telling you about it? You're going to spell it. You're not spelling it. I don't spell it. Yeah, I, I, sp okay, no. I spell it. It's, yeah. So what is, what is this fucking thing? Uh, <laughs> Elemental empowers organization to build a productive and scalable data platform. Now Elemental. Ask him how to spell it. Maybe he'll fall for it. How do you spell it? I'm very particular. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. Where's it located? Uh, it's located in San Francisco, California. Never heard of it. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
E L E M E N T A L. Elemental. I, I believe you just spelled the word elemental. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, but this one's a pun. Because mal is in bad. Yeah. Latin. Mm -hmm. Latin. Yeah. Right, look it up. Latin dog. Bryce. I really <laughs> look forward to you being my comedy partner. <laughs> Andrew, that answer is... Poggers! Oh, no, it's not Poggers. Oh. It's a fail! <laughs> it's incorrect. <laughs> Why would you blink? It's, it's not it's, Poggers. They're right, they're right next to each other. Look at the green and the red. They're right next to each other. Okay. By the way, that's uh. Chuck E. Cheese saying it. Yeah, it is. Really? Yeah, play the clip again. Poggers! Yeah. They did a Poggers. Twitch stream. It was pretty awkward. But he said... Poggers. Poggers. No. There we go. All right. I had too many buttons. Okay. They are right next to each other, for the record. <laughs> Right next to each other. All right, Brian, Elemental. Elemental. How many employees? Elemental has between 11 and 50 employees. Yeah, what do they do? Elemental empowers organization to build a productive and scalable data platform, Elemental. One of those scalable data platforms, Brian. Love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Elemental? Elemental. Are we not doing the sentence bit anymore? Uh, oh, no, no, no. You, yeah. Uh, oh, I forgot what, about that. Uh, Ask use me it in a sentence, yeah. please. Fuck! Elemental is down. Okay. Yeah. All right. That helps. Uh, still forgot. hits. Still hits. A... <laughs> Three L E M E N T A L dot com. <laughs> <laughs> and the dot com. All right. That answer is incorrect. Justin, for the steal, can you get elemental? Uh, elemental. E. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Strong. So far, start. so good. Yep. Hey, uh, uh, real quick. Hi, I'm Brian Brushwood, joined here by Andrew Heaton. We're at the minute, <laughs> the biggest event in the entire planet. It's right. The uh, startup. He's, no, he's, he's, he's taking his time. He's, he's he's doing this the right way. He's thinking about what he's going to do. The word is elemental. He's got one e so far. Strong now, start. Of, of, of all the letters to you say, can see, he's thinking about what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but of all the letters to start with, I think E is maybe the safest. I agree. A lot of people would start on E. Yeah. Okay, so and that's for, what for, a man for, there for, did. For elemental. Mm -hmm. well, now, let's, he, he, let's was, see what he, he did next. fail the drug test at the last spelling bee. No, that's that's <laughs> correct. No, he was he was definitely coked up on cocaine. Very coked up. C O K E D coked. <laughs> see, this is why you are the one of the all time mm -hmm. greats. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> okay, we go back down to just Robert Young. I'm about to spell the word. All right. He's just a, you can see the the, the 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 letter forming on his lips he's right there. Let's see. Look, he's thinking about it. Look at it. He's about to say it. E, the kid from Florida, <laughs> you could might be about to make a breakthrough. Like, like just a, a, a beautiful clock thrumming away behind I that. I don't that know right why there. my accent is drifting closer oh. to yours, but I love it. <laughs> it's a very strong accent. Oh. <laughs> my possible Australian and or Cockney. Oh. No, knows. All right. <laughs> so anyway, he looks rather hopeful now. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, now he, he looks like he just yeah. he learned a wonderful fact about life. <laughs> He's a visionary, is what that is. Yeah. It's the kind of man I'd like to have be a comedy partner. We'll see. We'll see. Just an elemental. Dash. <laughs> oh, he, he fucked up. He L fucked up. He put E N T E L elemental. A bold choice. A bold choice with a dash. Yeah. <laughs> Justin, that answer is... No, incorrect. Super close. E-L-E-F-E-N-T-L. Oh. 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 They removed the vowel. They removed the vowel. They removed the vowel! How can um. they keep getting away with it? How can she can't keep so getting some away really, with it? Yeah, it's some real... Baby Billy's Bible bunkers shit. It is. It is? Getting rid of the vowels? Yeah. Yep. Baby Billy's Baby Bubble Cubs? Yep. All right. After four-ish rounds, what are the scores, Brett? I don't know how many we did. What? How many? What's the score? Okay. Sorry. I was just waking up. The score is... We've got Brian with zero points. We've got our friend... Andrew Heaton. Oh, with I was zero about point. to say he definitely just blanked on Andrew's name. No. <laughs> so tie with Brian. And our 
our good friend Justin has one whole point. Yes, which is why it says ten on your board. Because yeah. well, there are three players. Because there's yep. three players. There's yeah. three players. Yeah. Okay, three players. that's fine. All right, you All can right. flip up the zero, I guess. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. on the other yeah. side. Yeah, there we go. I've Just so Brian yeah. doesn't get confused. He's so easily confused. Yeah. All right. I've never been he more met, He met that Justin. frog, and even though he said he loved piss, he's like, I don't even know if he likes piss. Yeah. Easily confused. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to go to our next one here. Who's going to start? I think it's going to be Brian. You're going to start with us on this one. Ready. Uh, we're looking for Dr. Flicks. Ha! Dr. Flicks. Yo, Ben! <laughs> Dr. Flicks! <laughs> uh, D-R-F-L-I-X-X. Everyone knows Dr. Flicks. It's the number one place to see doctors. Flicks. L L L loser. Incorrect. <laughs> oh. I, I like the idea of, you didn't ask what this company was, but I assume Dr. Flicks in your world is a website where you stream movies about doctors. Yep. <laughs> it's, 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 it's about medical exa examiners. Mm -hmm. it's, it's about... Uh, Doctors. I'm, well, I'm, I'm picturing like, do you like Grey's Anatomy? Do you like Doogie Howser? Do we have a website for you, Doctor Flex? Ah, uh, I mean, by the way, would Doogie Howser be considered like uh, inappropriately young nowadays? Yeah. Also, uh, I, we I rewatched some of these episodes of Doogie Howser recently. They have him like working as a heart surgeon in one episode, and then like a brain surgeon two episodes later. That's not standard. You know, in addition to the 14-year-old kid who had a heart surgeon, which I feel like is the real hurdle to jump over, yeah. they usually don't also have doctors like double dip in completely different fields. But he'd be like a GP one episode, and he's a lung doctor the following but episode. But they had to make like 50 episodes a season, man. Mm -hmm. like, like, you can't keep that shit straight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know what? The actor was played by a 14-year-old, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know they have like a new Doogie Howser, but he's autistic now. No. The good doctor. Wait, That's like, it's like a currently airing show that has become a meme. Go on. I'm a surgeon, Dr. Han. Okay. That's like a thing. <clears throat> this is the face I wear when I'm trying to evaluate to what level I want to engage with this. If you knew the meme, it's probably, I don't know if it's funny enough that, that you can laugh at it in public. So I'll state it just like I'm a lawyer. Yeah. There's a meme. Yes. Where... The main character is screaming he's a surgeon. Yes. And, and a cat is eating a some salad. People, some people think uh, it has been compared to that, <laughs> okay. actually. All right. There, there are a lot of comparisons to those two memes. And I'll just leave that there. Dr. Han meme. Look it up yourself. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> meme it yourself. All right. Ba -ba -ba. Bryce. I. Uh, yeah. Oh, we're playing a game here. Right. Uh, Justin, we're going to you now. <laughs> Dr. Flix. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Did Brian get it? Oh, oh, oh yeah. He was wrong. He oh, was okay. L -l -l Loser. Very wrong. All right. Justin, Dr. Flix. Uh, where is it based? Berlin, Germany. Fuck. Uh, how you know, many one time employees? I got naked in a billiards hall in Berlin. <laughs> I, was, I, was playing, I was playing billiards with this girl Svetlana, and I took my pants off. Exactly. Good story, huh? <laughs> Uh, just waving his schnitzel all over the fucking billiard yep. hall, like a CGI. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna become this a sauerkraut and jock on it and took care of business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Justin, Doctor Flicks, uh, how many employees? Uh, one to ten employees. One to ten. Okay, come wow. on. Uh, how much money That's did twelve hundred? Uh, they've raised <laughs> be anywhere. They've raised two point six million dollars. He's in the sense. Uh, uh, Awesome. I just downloaded Dr. Flix. Awesome. Uh, Dr. Flix. Doesn't sound different. When did you use a CKS or an X? Right. X. He did XX. Uh, uh, D O C. So that was D O R F L I C K S. Dr. Flix. That, oh, an that answer is. Loser. Incorrect. Not correct.
All right, Andrew, you're the last one here. If you want to steal it, you can do it. Okay. Dr. Flix. All right, so two X's, and you just spelled out Dr. Flix. I did, yeah. Okay. What is this company I didn't do? add dashes, though. I thought that was really dooming me before. Yeah, yeah, like a this time you I know decided to go partner. without it. Wait, what does Dr. Flix do? Uh, Dr. Flix uh, is rethinking knowledge exchange and networking for doctors globally. Doctor. Yeah, okay. Here, I think it's well, yeah. DR. Uh, how, how did that work out the last Wait. time the Germans got into it? <laughs> I don't know. How did it? I don't believe you. I think it's a porn thing. D o c t o r f l i x x x. Oh shit! Was Dr. I short Flex. one x? You were short one x. Fuck. Yours was just cool, but mine's porn. Yeah. All right, Andrew Heaton. Your answer is. Man, I'm really bummed. Can you put up some CGI doctor penis for me so I feel a little bit better? One well, Brian, you had it, but you went with two x's. Actually, he only said D R F I F L. Yeah, no, no, no. So I that also was not doctor. But uh, Justin and Andrew, you were both pretty close, but it was not quite right. Quite right. We were looking for D O C T O R F L I X. Oh wow! So if, if you merged if, the two, you would have got it. Yeah. yeah. Is it yeah. porn? Uh, you know, maybe. No, oh, they're rethinking. We should be change. comedy partners. <laughs> mm hmm. Wallace. That's <laughs> a very good dog. <laughs> Don't tell Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for our final round, before we do so, Brett, what is the score? The score is two zeros and a one. Which one am I? You are nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a little bit heated there, wow, Brett. That one, that one hit. It yeah, turns out yeah. when, a, when a trained voice actor says it, it sounds a lot like your self-esteem. <laughs> you know, the thing that makes me feel the it makes me feel worse because he does this every morning. I'll just get a phone call, call. from Brett. And I'll go, you are nothing. You are and I'll be nothing. like, what time is it? And he's like, 617, like every morning, fucker. And then yep. he hangs up. And yep. I don't know what that's about. Mm. That's right. We'll never know. Mm -hmm. The world may never know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who could parse that message? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for our final round. This is a turn point round. Oh! Oh! So it's still anybody's game. Uh, because he's in the back. Andrew, we're going to start with you on this one. Okay. Eh. All right. Technically tied, but he said you're in the back. Okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, Dark <laughs> Horse, Silver you. Metal Heaton, going to do it for the win. <laughs> okay. Astravius. <laughs> Wait, like like in your layup. Like Astravius? Like, uh, can, you, can you use it as a sentence? Astravius. Okay. Astravius. Shit! Astravius is down. Yeah. Astravius. Can you... There, there, there's a vowel at the oh. beginning. Listen, the, I, I don't want to make this a big deal. But Let him is, cook! All right, hold on. Let him cook! I'm just, you know what? I'm going to go with my gut on this one. It's E S. -T no, you want to know what? <laughs> Shut up, Heaton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of your bullshit on this. Yeah. We've been trying to swap comedy partners all goddamn game. Yeah. But there's only one time that we're going to decide this. Yeah. The next game, June 30th, <laughs> good, Captain good Quacks. Play. Yeah. Tickets available right now on Gigstand. Wait a minute. Are you saying that we're going to finally decide whether or not we're getting married forever and ever? Pinky promises to the end? And it's going to be live at Captain Quacks? And the only way to get tickets is at Gigstand for $22 a pop? What the fuck, man? <laughs> I was trying to hook up with this motherfucker. I mean, it wasn't where I was going, but sure. <laughs> That's happening. I'll yes, and. Okay, listen. Andrew? You give your what? spelling. You're talking uh -huh. to Justin. And then we'll find <laughs> out on Friday God whether or not you're right. Nice. I like no, it. We we're can't gonna possibly find out right do that. now. I was going to do it for Heaton. Oh. Yeah. You were going to do Heaton? Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Sorry. I thought I was supporting my comedy. <laughs> no. <laughs> you were just yelling what was in your head. I just like attention. Would you like to yell at me? <laughs> no. Go and, go and okay. tell you. I'll do it. Heaton, it, answer the thing. Astravius. Astravius. Was that it? Astravius. Can I start over? Yes. Okay, you're not going to add what I just said to no, what I previously said. Okay. E-S-T-R-A-V-I-U-S. -E Astravius. If that. you get this right, you are a sworn mortal enemy. And I'm you gonna better gonna not show up on Friday. Both of you dead weights on this show. If I get this right, <laughs> immediately. You, fuck off. You, it will be your show on be Friday, my show. Yep. and you better hope we don't uh -huh. show up. Yep. Hope you like regurgitated Bob Hope scenes, people. <laughs> 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 All right, that answer is. Oh, not yeah. correct. Um, Incorrect. Sorry. Wrong. Your sound effects toyed with my heart. Sorry, Captain Quags. You won't hear that really killer gag about <laughs> Jane Mansfield. 
All right, I'm Brian. A golf club too. Uh, Brian, it's your chance for the steal. Astravius. 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 Can you also get in the shot? Yeah. Astravia. I, I, there's there's the one step. Well, I know. Yeah, but you, know, you have to do it a lot. Uh, but just inside the frame. Astrav. Uh, you want some info? Could you pronounce it with the biggest use of your mouth? In terms of vowel pronunciation, yeah. possible. I and, could. And then look up AI uses of mouth. <laughs> there we go. There's something for you. No, no, no. God damn it. God damn it. What the fuck? And every one of those dudes is a doctor. <laughs> I keep forgetting that he actually found the gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian, Astravius. There was a dick that was longer than the dude's torso. Like these are, these are big dicks. It's like the opposite of a chode. E <laughs> S a chinel. T R a churnum. I V I A five. <laughs> All right, that answer is. Not correct. Not quite there. Justin. I know your pain. A S T R A Y V I O U S. Astravius. I swear to God. This smells like a setup. I don't believe it. If uh, I swear to God, the game. If Justin founded a fucking German company just so he could win this game. I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> this is for the game. Honest, if that, Justin that is gets the most right. reasonable expo- explanation. I, I technically already won the game. If Justin gets this right, he gets 10 points. If he gets this wrong, he gets negative 10 points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! It was! Loser. Oh, oh yeah. wrong! Yeah, That's the word. We were looking for A-S-T-R-A-V-E-U-S. Astravius. Uh, like the beloved, love, beloved Belgian cartoon Viking. Well, shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, why that means that it? nobody got a single point during this game. You got negative nine. I said no one got a single <laughs> point during this game. Yeah, but there's clear winners and losers. Nobody. <laughs> no. You want to know what? That's You're right. right. You're right. I'm the big fat fucking loser. I lost the game. That means that this Friday, June 30th, at Captain, Captain Quacks, Quacks, it's only you two against each other. I'm on Bryce's side, and I will be running the game with him, and we'll find out who the winner is between you two, Jamokes. Look, what, uh, uh, what the fuck, Andrew? Look, I, I, I mean, I like you a lot, but I can't, I can't fuck this gig up. Mm. I, I, mm. I mean, it's like uh, if Bryce, if, it still works. Like, okay. like, 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 I, I own the property. I'm not going to be able, if I can't come in and be a co-host. This. This is a lot of pressure riding on old Heaton, but I got some diet pills, and I think I can get you there. <laughs> I don't know what that meant, and it sounded sexier he's, than I think you meant. For he's so sound. excited. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's okay. so excited. Yep. Yeah, he just yep. can't hide so it. Yep. Scared. Okay. Very excited okay. and scared, okay. and I'm going to win that dance-off. That's right. And that means with uh, none points, the winner is Wallace! Yay! Yay! Congrats to Wallace. The only way to win is not to play. Just like nuclear war. That is exactly correct. If you've got an idea for a game, please send it into our email, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this fine program. Uh, uh, I'm going to say it again because people ask me where they can email the show. It's greatnightpod at gmail.com, or just check the show notes wherever you're enjoying the fine program. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, It's going to be a good one this Friday. Oh, yeah. No, it is going to be amazing. I'm so pumped just to do a show. Where's it going to be? Austin. Uh, Captain Quacks, uh, Heaton. We're going to buy tickets. Uh, you can go to Gigstan. It's either a website or it's an app, and you can go buy them right now. Uh, I'm going to put this one out to the Diamond Club family. This is a big one. We really, really, really want to make a good impression with uh, everybody involved in this transaction. So if you are anywhere in the Texas area, trust me, it is going to be worth it. Everybody head on into the Discord, figure it out. I cannot wait to see all of you and uh, uh, hang out this Friday. It's going to be a blast. Andrew Heaton, do you have mm-hmm. anything to promote? Uh, check out the Political Orphanage. This is my podcast. 
Mm-hmm. It's basically this all the time. <laughs> it's this. Yeah. It's just dick pics and spelling <laughs> in an audio, yeah. audio dick format. Dick and Wallace. Yep. It's a morning show. Yep. Like, me, I, I, me and my dog. I, I'm dick, dick pics. pics. I'm Wallace. Yep. Yeah. Like, I understand you plugging the political orphan. <laughs> <laughs> and I understand you saying, listen to my podcast. It's kind of like this. Uh-huh. But you do a show with me. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. That's yeah. kind of like this. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you do another <laughs> show that's not at all like yeah. this, called the Political Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> J- awesome. Justin and I have one called "We're Not Dick Picks," where <laughs> we, we just go on CGI and we come up with interesting anatomical names for very long penises. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty much it. Shiminal. <laughs> that's right. uh, 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 the snake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wormwood. Look at that, Droopy Cobra. That's our catchphrase. <laughs> uh, hey, Brett, what did we learn? Well, we've learned that. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> what? Yep. There we go. What? We, we were surprised. That one him. looks like it's oh going into his belly. Why the jackal? Just, what is happening? No one. Wait, no, 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 no. Those two ones anymore. are merging. What are we doing? <laughs> are we That's a dude who looks like his butt is pregnant. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Let me tell you one thing that I've learned. <laughs> that is, I'm surprised to find that there are more AI pictures of naked women than naked men until now. I found out that uh, Brian could be a very convincing Peter Cullen. And that uh, Bryce has a problem bringing up dicks. But not anymore. He really, He can really show a hog, I tell you. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, shine on you crazy diamonds uh, Join us this Friday We love you guys It's been a, a great night Still a great night oh, God. No there's never been a greater night A single bed A later night A past the masturbation night A let's get drunk and laugh tonight There's never been a greater, greater night Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program <laughs>